right, weekly uh, lane sign recap, and uh, I'm working on a large scale mock up of a mural. Um, I have a lot to show you this week. Uh, I didn't record a lot because it was a little bit of a slower week. I did find an entire box of um, like uh, shoppers drug mark kind of cosmetic-y kind of things. And uh, that was on Wednesday and I was photographing a friend of mine who's a single mom and I gave half the box to her. And I took the other half, it was like lotions and oils and face cream and travel size stuff. And I combined it into my stuff. I folded it in already. So I don't have it to show it to you, but I do have it to tell you that I shared. So this is the first item. These are Kodiak boots. Um, they're practically brand new. They're size eight. They're waterproof. Perfect. So yeah, perfect for the upcoming season. They're super cute. And um, today's fit, these are Levi's. They're really old, they only have one pocket. And a Levi's tank top. I didn't know they made tank tops. And then this is a Joe Fresh button down. I'm a little bit overdressed. The sun has come out and uh, it's a really nice day. So stay tuned for more finds. <laughs> uh, this is a whole outfit, clearly, a leisure outfit. These are champion pants. I think they're a uh, size medium. They're so comfortable. Um, yeah, I like a little bit of a low rise, old vintage logo. This is an older uh, Aritzia hoodie, uh, a little bit of a longer one. So yeah, that's one find. And then I also found this Aritzia hoodie. This one is super, super soft. I have my glasses on. I usually don't do this with my glasses on. Cute, like leisure. These champion pants are like, I can't even express to you how comfy they are. Fit like a glove. This hoodie, a little bit of a shorter one, but it's oversized and perfection. All right, more to come. All right. This next lot is a lot of shirts. So I found this uh, Karl Lagerfeld uh, Paris t-shirt and it's got his signature on the back. Um, this Gap um, Pure, it's a really nice, just long sleeve plain navy blue t-shirt. It's really sunny, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, I went to our sister's closet and uh, they have a $5 rack and this is a, a men's uh, Zara vintage uh, denim shirt. Uh, and then also on the $5 rack at my sister's closet, I got this to go with it. So I spent $10, but this is wool. So it's like a super soft wool. It's from O'Hanlon Mills, wherever that is. It's a size extra small. But yeah, I just, I bought it to go with this. I tried them on together, 10 bucks. I did try a pair of like pink pants on to go with this outfit, but the pink pants uh, didn't fit because I have hips. <laughs> and apparently everybody in the store had tried them on and had the same outcome. Um, I remember those blazers. I had like a beige one and then this one and it looks wrinkly because I washed it because it smelled like an old dude, but I kept the dark one. That would actually go with this, like a nice layering in the fall, like these three with some really nice like bright pants. Woo, perfect. I found this, this is, uh, people are wearing a lot of these like pajama tops just as tops. It's monogrammed. EM, I'm not EM, but maybe I could wear it. Uh, I found these. Uh, they're wedgie uh, Levi's, they're 32s. They're way too big for me, I tried them on. I considered like keeping them and then maybe trying to make something else into them, but I think I'm just gonna give them to somebody else. I'll take them to the Goodwill. Uh, I'm 
more to come. I saved the denim for last. So I have four pairs that I found this week. These are Jack Jones. These fit me perfectly. These are the Slim Glens. They do have a hole, but I will repair that hole really easily. Although my sewing machine is not working right now, I am uh, going to get it repaired. Uh, these are Armani Exchange. They fit really small. I've tried them on. They do not really me. Uh, so those will go with the Levi um, shorts. Going to home, the Goodwill, another pair of Armani Exchange, a little bit of a different cut, again, super small, really nice dark dot skinny jeans though, and these are super cute, but they don't, again, they're too big, these are from H&M, distressed guys jeans, they're a size 33, so I'm going to take them to the Goodwill. And uh, one more to come. I took the bus down to Seattle a couple weeks ago and I found these two life magazines on the ground and it's taken me a minute to frame them. These are dollar store frames for four bucks. Really easy, cheap frames. Um, they have been out of them. I finally got the second frame today for this guy. This is, it's a different one. So I'm not sure how I'm going to hang them up side by side and make them even. Maybe I'll wait till somebody comes over to help me. But yeah, um, this one is from 1963. This one is from 1961 on St. Patty's Day. I also found this really awesome. Um, I was in East Vancouver this week walking quite a bit and I found this really awesome magazine, Movement. It's got some stunning imagery in it. So I might collage or just save it for inspiration. I also found these letters. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I just kind of thought they were fun. Two G's, two H's and a K and a whole bunch of gold ones. So yeah, this is the mural. Um, adding colors to it. I just got all my um, sample mural paints out of the storage locker and I'm working on doing some visible mending for these pants that I have. So yeah, hope you guys are having a good weekend. This is the pile of clothing that I just showed you and that's the pile that's going to go to Goodwill. That's my little setup. That's what I put you on when I'm filming. So yeah, we'll see you soon.